Okay, we're going to go over the use of the Labist machine. You can see that I have some 3D printed skeletons and bases sitting up there, uh, miniatures. Uh, so, if we go in here, we're going to have a print function. Print will show the files we have, have saved on our micro SD card. Prepare will allow us to preheat temperature and preheat the base. It'll also allow you to load and unload filament. And this is where you use the auto and manual level. Uh, I prefer to manually level it. Um, I had a little issue with an auto leveler. Um, just, I'm not super familiar with it. And from what the videos all say online, uh, it says to manually level, level it before you do the auto levels anyway. So it's more of a manually level it when you first get it and then use the auto level when you need to tweak the leveling uh, between prints. And it will get thrown off a little bit on prints when you're trying to take the prints off. Uh, so that's definitely something to remember. All this glass has to do is shift a little bit and then it won't be completely level. Uh, and then on our settings option here on the right, we can move our X, Y, and Z axis or do firmware upgrades. I haven't had to do an upgrade. I don't know if it has one or not. Uh, my machine is still pretty new. Uh, so, operation. It's gonna print onto this glass base plate. They sell a sticker that you put in between the metal and the glass base plate to help it auto level. Um, don't make the mistake of I did and stick it to the glass itself because it's really hard to get off and then you don't have the auto level ability without the sticker. So make sure you put it in between the glass and the sticker or the glass and the metal plate. Uh, during use, the metal plate will be hot. It's not super hot usually. Um, it doesn't burn like to the touch, but it can get there depending on what you have the setting uh, set to. Our filament is going to load right through here. So you can see I have a little roll of filament right here. It runs down and goes through here. So when you're feeding it in, you're gonna move this so that it has room to go in. And then it'll run all the way through this tube and down into your extruder. Uh, this machine is relatively easy to operate. It doesn't have a lot of extra settings. Uh, it's pretty much just a click and print kind of thing. Um, this is my first 3D printer. I've gotten some good prints off that you'll see them in the photos. Uh, pretty easy overall. Okay, so this is Cura. This is gonna be the software you're most likely to be using when you're running your 3D printer. Uh, you can see I actually have mine set to the Annette ET4. Uh, it's the same machine essentially, so you don't have to have it set to the Lavis profile. Uh, you can see that I have mine set to fine. So one of the first things you're going to want to look at is the print quality. So you have extra fine, fine, normal, draft, extra fast, coarse, and extra coarse. This is basically slow to fast, high quality to low quality. Uh, normal is decent quality. If you're doing figurines, I'm going to go fine. Or if you're doing something like a big monster, something you're going to make one of, something that needs to be truly impressive, you're going to go extra fine. Extra fine increases the slicing time and the printing time by a lot though, just so you're aware. Alright, so I have mine set to fine because I've been doing figurines. So one of the things that I like to adjust off the base setting is the tree support. So you're going to enable support and then you're going to switch it from normal to tree. When you switch it from normal to tree, one of the things that you have to do is fill in... Sorry, I'm looking for it right now. Uh, the support line distance. This comes up zero, basically, essentially. Uh, so you're gonna wanna make that up to 15. And let me load up a model. So to load up a model, we're gonna hit the folder right here. And then we're just gonna print, uh, we'll go with something a little bit less intense than the angels are. We'll load up a clockwork owl. All right, so this is our model. You can adjust its movement here by pulling it. Over here, you can adjust its orientation. We're not really gonna get into that. All right, so you're gonna wanna make sure your support is set. And then the other thing I like to do that is not default is under build plate adhesion. I like to switch my brim count or my brim width to 10 from eight. Uh, the wider the brim, the more the uh, adhesion the model is going to have to the plate. Uh, if you're printing straight to the glass like I do, uh, the adhesion is not going to be great, so having the extra width is very helpful. Uh, I also spray mine with hairspray, I think I covered that in another part of the video.